Big crowd here. They're expecting their largest crowd of the season. Their largest crowd in several years. The curtains are down. And this is the team that comes to Bryce Jordan, the Wisconsin Badgers. And Trayvon Hughes recorded his 100th career steal against Illinois on Thursday. Marcus Landry's the team's leading scorer, averaging 14 points per game. And John Lure makes a second consecutive start, the first two of his career, with Keaton Nankaville nursing an ankle injury. It is once again Lure in the starting lineup for Bo Ryan in his eighth season as the head coach in Madison. The Nittany Lions will wear their home white with the blue trim. Wisconsin in their road cardinal with the white trim. And we're ready to go. Ted Hillary, Donnie Gray, Reggie Greenwood, our officiating trio this afternoon. Uh, Mark, this game is going to be all about tempo. Man-to-man -man defense. They will mix a little bit more zone than they played at Wisconsin. They repost Landry, turnaround jumper is good from nine feet. Trayvon Hughes three. That's well short, but there was Landry to reverse it and lay it in. Penn State still looking for their first points over three minutes in. But it's only a four zip game and that does change with that in the lane for Brooks. Mohanan gives it up back to Landry now. Grabbing off. Shot clock at 10 and an easy lay in for Lure. And coming off their worst offensive performance, 51 points in Ann Arbor. Landry throws it in the air. I'm having flashbacks to the Texas game from a year ago. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Stays with Penn State, four to shoot. Pringle. A danger zone if you're Bo Ryan. Trayvon was seven, driving, got the contact and the foul on Andrew Jones. Coming out of the timeout, Trayvon Hughes at the line, a 72% free throw shooter, and he knocks down the first. Absolutely not. His contributions were very strong in the floor game department, as if that's the only way you can help your team. Hughes with two at the line, and then the left hand, and the bucket. Rebound Brooks. Here's Pringle. Cornley. Put up a quick shot. That's a two point field goal. They got it to go. Looking to take their first lead. Cornley. There's DJ David Jackson pull up jumper. And he does indeed give the Nittany Lions their first lead for that 17 foot jumper. Hughes with six to shoot. Jarvis. Tim Jarvis, two-point field goal. It's just a matter of sometimes your shot's not falling quite as much as it normally does. Cornley pulls back and scores. Two-point shot there for Cornley. Penn State does not have an offensive rebound yet. Wisconsin has four offensive boards. And the rebounding edge overall going to the Badgers. There are seven teams that are separated by two games in the lost column. Down low, laid in by Battle. Had started all season, and he tweaked his ankle, giving Lure a start. Lure, without defending, trying to back him down, makes the move, and gets it to roll over the rim. <laughs> what a delivery, up and under. Now you've got Battle. They, got, they have to go inside. And the Badgers get lower the basketball. Now they do. Five to shoot on battle. Spinning. He gets a little defensive help. Brooks. He spots up and hits a 17 footer. What will Bohannon do? Shoot a deep three, and there was the hand of Taylor Battle. He gets it on the run. Adjust and scores in transition. <laughs> I feel like the Taylor battle highlight. I think they should wear those old canvas Chuck Taylor low tops. Remember those? <laughs> yes, absolutely. They were going for Taylor. And now Pringle pulls up from the free throw line. When Stanley Pringle had 26, Stanley can be an MVP as well. You know, today at shoot around, we saw.
Practice end. All the players left except for Battle. They lead it by four with over four and a half minutes left. Three, Tim Jarmus. He was very excited to have his photo taken with the hardware. <laughs> He was like a little kid, wasn't he? He was. Started talking baseball. Landry will visit the line. And then later in the season, he was with his dad along the sidelines, and Dusty Rhodes tossed him a baseball. I mean, th those are some great memories. And his wife, who normally is at the game, is back in Madison with Marin, Marin and we wish her well. And, and Ed DeChelis' preferred style of play is fast. The challenge against both these teams is in a half court, Scott reports are deep. You need easy points. Nice shot from Jarmus. Came in averaging three points per game. Four has been their largest lead. Jones. Andrew Jones has had a really solid and I think underrated season. 12 points and nine rebounds. He went home to watch his favorite team, the Pittsburgh Steelers, win the Super Bowl. That's a good day right there. Battle missing from the right corner. Here's a three left side, knocked down by Bohannon. Big Ten Network. I didn't realize that Rever was such an expert in rebounding. He is in the quote unquote section of the Penn State notes. Turning, shooting, and scoring. Shot. Game clock winding down. And Penn State with the last nearly six minutes without a field goal, and the Badgers have a seven-point lead at the intermission. The State Farm Halftime Report coming up with Mike Call and Tim Doyle. Bo Ryan heads to the locker room. His team up seven here in Happy Valley. Did you know they went to the Final Four that year? Wow. So there's some history there for him. Driving and getting it to go is Pringle. Second half, they went zone and made a dramatic comeback. It fell a little bit short, but they really found something. Lure jams it. An easier shot than that. I mean, there, there was nobody within five feet. Pringle! And, and we're going to look at the other on the great delivery by Trayvon Hughes. And you give young players open looks, man. They get really confident. I would keep an eye on John Luer on the offensive end because he is really in that feel-good zone today. Hughes. See there in the bottom portion of your screen. Coming up after we're finished here, the Wisconsin women are at Purdue. And the lay-in by Marcus Landry. And the Badgers keep finding a way to get that high percentage shot. Four minutes elapsed here in the second half. Just imagine if they could have got a stop. Jones, the jump hook in the lane. And Trayvon Hughes did not score a point against Illinois. He has not scored a basket so far in this game. Taylor. Down low and another easy jam for John Lohr, who's in double figures in scoring. That is completely unacceptable. Slipping, battle. Two-point field goal, David Jackson. Eight on the shot clock, Hughes going to the rack. Thought he was going to easily lay it in, but Jones very late came over. And here come the Nittany Lions. Bounce pass down low. Foul committed by Lohr. A low post score, and he, he should have a lot of opportunities. Why? Because he's surrounded by three top-notch prolific scores. Remember a lot of times coming in here, you never saw the fan support that you're seeing right now. Fighting in the lane, Krabinoff gets it to go. What a move. Jarmus. Now Hughes back to Jarmus. Three. Offside rebound for Cornley. Quick out. Battle. From the left corner, three missed by Pringle. Their second offensive rebound of the game swung up there by Battle. And I, I mentioned a second ago that Taylor Battle is such a good rebounder. Well, against Michigan, those two combined for 14 rebounds. They're the best point guard tandem rebounding the basketball in this conference. Going to the rack, got it too tight, and couldn't get it up over the rim. Under nine minutes to go. 
banking it in is Lander to give the Badgers a four-point edge. Hughes gets it back. And Pringle in the air. Still nine on the shot clock. Krabenhoff fade away from 14. That's not an easy shot right there. Wisconsin's going to keep you right there in the defense. But this is the time of possession statistic that's so big in football. Hughes. A Bohannon three, big shot, and it opens up a 43-34, nine-point lead. Well, whatever you need, and the rebounding numbers have soared. He's currently number three in the Big Ten, rebounding, and he's playing a wing. Penn State has gone over five minutes without a point, and they changed that. They've gone nine minutes without a field goal. Pringle. Jackson knocked hard to the court. Jackson hits the front end. Six for Jackson. Penn State is going to have to pick up their defensive intensity and try to change the tempo of this game. Hughes gets that one to fall. Still 2.20 to go here at Happy Valley. 45-38 Badgers. There's Kramenhoff. Creates the steal at the other end. Lays it in. Big defensive play for the senior from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. I'm not surprised he laid it in. Remember last game against Illinois, Jason Bohannon missed the dunk. Thanked in by Battle, making a seven-point game. Wisconsin has won nine in a row against Penn State, trying to make it ten straight. Landry lays it in. Not only do they break the pressure, but they get some quick points, and it's a nine-point game. And Wisconsin passes the ball so well. I, I can't say that they're unpressable, but you you're really gambling if you try to. Pringle quickly laying it in for Penn State, so the team's trade baskets after we're finished here at Penn State. Now Morby and Stephanie White standing by. Swish. They need to have the ball in their hands to be successful. If they're making jump shots, they're happy. But with Kravenhoff, he's such a good screener. He passes the ball. And he's right at his season average of eight points. Almost lost by battle. Almost lost again. And then a push. That was kind of not what the Badgers wanted to do there. The push committed by Jordan Taylor. Pringle misses the front end, a Kravenhoff rebound, a quick Penn State foul. The Illinois game I thought was the most complete offensive performance that I had seen from the Badgers this season. If they can get into an offensive groove, you know that the defense is going to be pretty solid. Lead is nine, equaling the largest for the Badgers. Whooping it up and scoring his battle. Take that 11-point lead now down to nine. I bet tonight that Taylor Battle's going to wake up in a cold sweat, and he's going to have visions of Trayvon Hughes in his face. Bo Ryan's teams have always made more free throws than their opponent takes. That's not necessarily the case this season. Their free throw attempts are definitely a little bit down. Penn State trying to take advantage of the miss from the line. Can't, but do get an offensive rebound from Battle. Under a minute to go. Pringle three. And Penn State. He really embraced his role. And, and so rather than plateauing, when he was given the keys to this Badger ship, he was ready to go. Ten point lead, Wisconsin. Penn State 0 of 13 at three point shooting in this game. Make it 0 for 14. Loose on the deck, picked up by Bohannon. And, and if you would have told me that in this game, Penn State would not nail a three, it would have been very easy to protect a Badger victory. Five and six in conference play. Second straight win for Bo Ryan's Badgers. And Penn State drops to 17 and seven and six and five in conference play. That's going to take care of things for the Bryce Jordan Center. Up next, again, women.